my heavens this lighting is horrendous but good morning everyone welcome back to another vlog it is monday morning at like just before 7 a.m i'm heading to the airport right now to go to orange county if you watched the last vlog i kind of mentioned it but i'm headed off to back to california i'm so excited for alexa's birthday trip so every year alexa and i typically do something for her birthday we've gone to laguna a couple times we got tattoos last year and did like a little staycation type of thing in la um and now we're headed back to orange county so the plan for today i believe is that we are gonna go thrifting possibly film a thrifting video so make sure you stay tuned for that um after that i think we're going to maybe just do some lunch check into our hotel we're staying at a hotel near disneyland and then we're gonna go to Disneyland this evening and yeah it's gonna be a great time so I'm gonna try to vlog when I can but obviously it's more about being present but I know that Alexa enjoys watching the vlogs back as well and so do I because it's like a little time capsule of our memories together so that's what we're gonna do and then Alexa thinks that we are staying at that hotel near Disneyland for two nights but I actually changed our reservation to only staying at that hotel for one night and then I booked us a hotel in Laguna Beach for the second night because we were already planning on going to Laguna Beach tomorrow and doing like a beach day. Um, and the hotels were really, really expensive, but I ended up finding a deal last minute at a hotel that I've never been to before, but I've heard other people mention. So I have no idea what it's like. We're gonna find out together, but um, yeah, I'm gonna surprise Alexa with that. That's gonna be really fun. I don't really know what I'm gonna tell her. Oh, the train is coming. I am glaring into the sun so that this isn't your view of me this entire time. <laughs> Oh, wow, that train is very loud. Okay, that's the plan. That's the loose tentative plan. We're about 10 minutes away from the airport. I am starving, so I'm gonna try to find myself something to eat. Maybe get a little mimosa before the flight to calm the nerves. I am not a... Uh... I'm not someone who loves flying. Okay, I was kind of stuck in traffic and at a light, so gotta get on the freeway now and let's head to California. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's really, really, really weird. This feeling is very weird. Like I feel like when I was getting to the airport in Arizona this morning, I was like, oh, this feels like home. And now being at this airport and being back in California, I feel like I'm home. It's a very weird feeling like you belong in two places and like your heart is split between two places. But I'm so excited. I think Alex is here already. I have one bag to get from baggage claim. And the girls' weekend begins. Hello. I completely forgot, but we just stopped off in Newport. Hey! <laughs> Mid sip of water. Sorry. No, you're going to... We stopped off in Newport Beach at this place called Vibe Kitchen. It's like a vegan gluten free place, and I got a bowl called the Fiesta Bowl. Sounds pretty good. Well, let's just had it before and she said it's really good. So we'll see. You can yep. show me who it is. Party time, her food isn't here yet, but I got a Fiesta bowl. It has jackfruit, it looks like some kind of beans, some kind of crema, guacamole, onions, pico, kale. It looks really, really good. Let's try it. Cheers. Delicious. All right, it's much later now. I'm in a, a very different outfit. 
We got our overalls on and we came back to our hotel. This is just like a hotel that Alexa and her husband have stayed at before. And I did tell her, in fact, that we are going to Laguna tomorrow. So I did spoil the surprise a little early. We, <laughs> we did we cry really a little like... bit. <laughs> there were a couple tears. I was talking and I was like, eh. like my voice was like cracking. But um, yeah, here is an overview of our hotel room for the night. It's going to be lovely. And we're gonna head to Disneyland to meet up with Alexa and her sister, who I haven't gotten to meet yet, so I'm really excited to meet her. So I'm just gonna get a couple little clips on my phone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You haven't missed anything. We got lunch, it was delish. We sat here on the beds and talked for like a couple hours. And now we're going to Disneyland. What's not to love? Sorry, Drew, I know you're <laughs> very jealous. Miss you, bye. <laughs> We're sweating bullets out here. It's like 96 degrees. Good morning everybody, it is the next morning at about, what time is it, 7.30? I don't know because I unplugged the alarm to use the outlet for my battery charger last night, but we had such a fun time at Disneyland, oh my god, it was so fun. I was so happy to finally meet Alexa's sister, she was wonderful of course. We had so much fun, we were there until about 10, and we just had a blast. I'm clearly very tired, but that was just so, so nice. It got very crowded towards the end, but we had a great time. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready for the day. I think today is gonna be like a little bit of a beach day. We're gonna go to Laguna Beach today. I'm so excited about that. Alexa actually popped out to go grab some coffee. And yeah, that's pretty much the loose plan. So another day of girly time. I can't believe I'm already leaving tomorrow. It's a very, very quick trip. I'm gonna get in the shower because the water's running. We will catch up in a bit. Shower's done, and we're on a mission to acquire hotel breakfast. Show me. Show me to me, Rachel. Ooh, cute. All right, it's a little while later. I just had my absolutely diabolical breakfast. Um, <laughs> that was wild. It said overnight oats on the menu, and in parentheses it said vegan, which means <laughs> oats soaked in water. And I got a packet of honey and a packet of raisins, and I made it work. I drained out the water, I added a little half and half, and then I zhuzhed it up, but that's so funny. Getting ready to go to the beach, there's a cute little um, shelf in this hotel bathroom. I need this for my bathroom. I brought my cute little beach hat. I have my swimsuit from Lisa Says Ga on. It typically like crisscrosses right here and then ties around the neck. Oh, don't mind, I just have sensitive skin. I scratched myself, but um, it wasn't giving the girls enough support, so I actually like tied it right here and then tied it like that. So we'll make it work. But yeah, we're gonna head to the beach. I'm desperately gonna try not to get sunburned. And then we'll see what else the day has in store for us. But I am so excited. Why am I putting on makeup to go to the beach? I don't really know. <laughs> Just for funsies. Okay, let's go. All right, got all dressed and ready to go. Got my hat on. Here is my little outfit of the day. We got flip-flops from Old Navy. We got pants from Old Navy. <laughs> These are actually very comfortable, although I'm a little worried about the inner thigh seam. It might chafe me a little bit, but we'll see. We got the Lisa Says Ga bathing suit from last summer, and it's got like vegetables and like fish and wine and fruit and stuff on it and it's really fun. And then this hat is from Lack of Color. They're an Australian brand and they make hats for people who have big heads. Cause I got one big old noggin. So I think this is like an extra large or something like that. I always struggle finding cute hats in my size and I feel like I'm very much giving you a little bit of like coastal grandmother, Diane Keaton summer energy in this outfit and I kind of love it. So anywho, we're just getting ready to head out the door. It's about, what time is it? Nine o'clock. We're all packed up, ready to go. First little leg of this girl's trip is over. 
but the fun is still awaiting. I am ready for a beach day, that's for sure. Every time I have to do surf and sport, it's my favorite. Surf and sport. Surf and sport. from our hotel to Earth Cafe and it was like a little over a mile, I think. But for some reason, just like in the baking hot sun, it was awful, but we survived, we made it. We're at Earth, we got our lunch. Alexa got like a gluten-free sandwich and like some fruit, I think. And then I got a smoothie and my favorite chicken curry sandwich with salad. Yeah. We just finished up with lunch. It was so good. It was delish. And now we're gonna head into Whole Foods. And if you know, you know. If you were a Laguna Beach fan, you know the episode where Kristen and Jessica made food for their boyfriend. <laughs> and they couldn't, they were having a conversation and one of them said, should I ask if we can have a pound or for half a pound? How much chicken do we get? Just a little bit, because okay. it's gross when there's a lot of chicken in your spaghetti, you know? Should I say can I have a pound? Half a pound? Half a pound. Oh, did you say have a pound? And it's the greatest. It's girlhood and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and that's where we're going. So it used to be called Wild Oats and I actually worked there in high school, not at this location, obviously, but in Tennessee. And that's where we're going and now it's Whole Foods. Got our snacks, secured the bag. We are definitely Ubering back to our hotel this time, even though it's like a mile. Um, we simply, it's too hot. That's a long mile. Yeah, it's seven dollars well spent. <laughs> oh, we're back at the beach, back at the hotel, and this is our view for the rest of the day, or until we decide. It's five o'clock somewhere, you know? I'll of course give you a hotel room once I get there, but I feel like this background mixed with this hat really is giving like, I'm yeah. in like Knights in Rodan Theater or something. I love it. I told John, like, I was like, do you know what Coastal Grandma is? And he was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's so It's a little while later, maybe like an hour or so later after we hung out on the beach and our room is ready and we just checked in and it's so cute in here. What the heck? This is called the Capri Hotel. I found it last minute and I got it for a deal and I think it's because they're doing the construction next door. We don't even care. Look at this place. So wait, first of all, I have to show the view outside of our room. To so walk out of the room, ignore the sounds, but look at that. They'll be gone soon, I'm sure. You walk in, oh, you can hear the waves. You walk in, okay. And here is the living room area. So I'm gonna sleep out here on the pullout couch tonight. There's a little seating area. There's a balcony and it wraps around to the bedroom. There's no way this wasn't once an apartment. Like, oh my God, I would give anything. We got a little dresser right there. We have a desk working area. We have an AC and then she has one in her room as well. We have a dining area over here. 
cute. We have a little mini fridge and a microwave and a little coffee station, some water bottles. I'm gonna stick these in the fridge. Just so beachy and cute in here. And then we have a big closet, honestly, like a really decent sized closet. <laughs> Alexa has a dress in there. So cute. And then you move into a side entrance to the bathroom. It's like a Jack and Jill bathroom, I think they call it. And then here is the little bathroom. We got a nice, honest, decent sized shower. And then the toilet. And then you move into the bedroom. This is where Alexa's gonna sleep. She's got two nightstands. Honestly, it's so spacious. Got a big TV in here as well. And then her view, laying in bed, is this. Are you joking? This is so nice. And then yeah, it wraps around to the other side. This was definitely worth it. I love this hotel room and now I'm going to try to find a way to convince them to let me live here full time. Sorry, just want to add, um, this is the view out of the bathroom window at the bar we were just at. So let me know in the comments below if you think we should move here or back to California in general. Bye! Oh my god, we just came into this place called Active Culture for dinner and they have a lot of like soft serve, smoothie bowls, shakes, juices, as well as like little bowls and salads, and they look so freaking good. Gay rights. They have um, acai like on tap. Ooh, and look how cute it is in here. I am obsessed. If you're ever in Laguna and you're like wanting some good veggie friendly meals, go for it. Ooh, look at this. I got called Eastern Trade Winds Bowl and then Alexa got a veggie bowl some kind I think it's called the OG sauce that looks amazing you know I could really get used to this Jesus construction is done we are gonna sit out on our patio which is literally right there and enjoy the sunset. Stunning. Wow. Wow. Whoa. This is so unbelievably beautiful and I am just taking such a moment of gratitude. I can't believe this is my life. Couldn't be more appreciative. Ah, I'm so happy. I could cry. I might. I never know. Oh, hey! <laughs> Come there is a second seat. There is a second seat. I'm talking about how beautiful it is and how grateful I am. That's all. Now we're gonna enjoy this sunset. <sighs> this is this is the life. I could get used to this. I'm a little scared that I'm too used to this. <laughs> The final coffee walk. We're happy and sad. Obviously, it's always good to like get home, get back to your stuff, go to your own bed. Neither of us sleep super well when we're away, but also we have to say goodbye, but that's okay. We still have a little bit of time. Why I decided to start this on a busy road is beyond me, but um, yeah, it's like seven something, I think. 7.22. 7.22 a.m. We are a night owl's worst nightmare. I think we like, are such early birds. What's wild is I literally feel like it's 5 a.m. and it's only like 7:22, and I'm like, no, Carrie and I are early. Like we're early risers. Usually, like we're like we usually are up we're really in early. Our prime, but yeah. it was a rough sleep. So yeah, and we've been doing a lot the last couple of days. But we're headed to a coffee shop that we walked past. I've actually seen it a few times driving by, but I've never been there before. And it's called Laguna Coffee Company. I think. I hope they're open. I didn't really think about that. But um, it looked really cute. And all of the other local places that we've tried in Laguna have been really good. So we will see. 
I'm gonna have one final coffee date. It's a nice cloudy morning for our last day and honestly, I couldn't be happier. We're both dressed for two very different climates. <laughs> one of us runs cold, the other one runs hot. You know, you gotta balance each other out. Also for my other Laguna Beach fans, this is a spot they went to all the time in the show. And it's still there, but it's getting renovated. Got our coffees, got my extra ice. It's delicious, almond milk latte, decaf. And here is our coffee spot. So freaking beautiful. And also, why don't I live in one of these houses? This is a crime. <sighs> I'm in the morning on this balcony. Construction's back, but I don't even care. It's so nice. I do not want to leave. <sighs> Why is every why is it so far away? <laughs> Don't be surprised if you know we head back to California uh, uh, sometime soon. <laughs> California, 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 California. Woo! Let's move back. Okay, the construction's picking up now, so goodbye. <laughs> we popped out to get some breakfast. Alexa got a smoothie bowl that I forgot to show, and then I got this avocado toast, which is literally massive. Yum. All right, it is a little bit later. These like wispy grown out bangs have been irking me this entire vlog. But anyways, we just finished up breakfast and now I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. So that is the end of this little fun girls trip vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos with me and Alexa, you know, let me know in the comments. We'll have to make that happen. But yeah, thanks for being here with me on this like vacation slash work trip slash celebrating my girl's birthday. It was so much fun. We had a really good time and we are also very tired because we are introverts, but so grateful for her and our friendship and for California. It makes me so, so happy. So I will definitely be back soon. And thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.